previously on Per Place Baldur Gate 3. I decided to kill this very bossy lady. We also encountered a horde of goblins at the gate, and we managed to get attacked by some posers following the absolute. After all that fighting, we decided to get to safety. Find me in the caves. I need to let people know we're moving. Time to talk. Not now. Please. Good timing. Never been much of a fighter, so wrestling a bugbear would have gone... poorly. But you're not here for heroics, are you? Avernus's stench is all over your skin. Let me guess. Your devil mistress sent you to get her soul coin back. But too bad. I earned it, fair and square. Coin? Mistress? You've lost me. You almost seem honest. Care to explain why you reek of the hells? A mind flare abducted me and its ship went straight into Avernus. Well, that's quite the story. And I thought I was doomed. 
Now I feel sorry for you. Here. Take this. It's worth a fortune. But a fortune's not worth much if you're dead. Consider it payment for saving my life. A soul coin, true to its name, holds a mortal soul inside. It serves in the Nine Hells as very valuable currency. You peer through the telescope. You see a red dragon, tyrannical, greedy, and vain. They hunt without pity. The telescope points to the left. The telescope points straight ahead. The telescope points to the right. That coin's worth plenty. Don't let a squid get their tentacles on it. After killing all them goblins and doing some hero work, I finally got myself to level 3. at your foot and bites it. You follow the squirrel's gaze to a pair of clumsy, ugly feet. Your own, on her territory. Looking around, her territory extends from one end of the grove to another. She studies you for a moment before twitching her ears. Compromise. After a final squeak of warning, break the rules and there will be trouble, she scurries away. After realizing that the sleeping bear isn't gonna let me get into the grove, I needed to backtrack and go through the refugees. This is about your precious borders gate. I care about our lives, our futures. No, you just care about your stupid apprenticeship. Take that back right now. Mm. Take your time. Very 
well. Pels, we can't just leave. They're kin. I'll not gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead. We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once. Can we all just take a moment, please? What's the point in blazing spells if we don't bloody use them? We should stay. These people aren't fighters. We can help. Or well, yell louder. That's fine too. You should all stay. A single blade could make a difference. Thank you. It's the right thing to do and you know it. She's right, Roland. We're better than this. Zergen. Fine, I'll stay too, lest you both end up with your throat slit by Goblin Blade. Thank you, Roland. We should have left by now. Damnish! Instead, we're just sitting here, practically begging to be attacked. Staying is a mistake. You're doing the right thing. The Teethlings need you. And what about us? There's every chance we've doomed ourselves by helping these people. We will end up fodder for some goblin's blade, all because Leah insists on helping every wounded fall we see. Our best chance to make it to Baldur's Gate is on our own. This place is lost. Hold on, why are you so eager to reach the city? You are looking at Laroican's newest apprentice. Yes, that Laroican. The greatest wizard in Baldur's Gate. I've heard that name before. A young man, yes? Lives in Ramazes Tower in the upper city. The very same. Word in Waterdeep has it he's a bit of a cad. But you say he's an accomplished wizard? Of course he is. The greatest spellcaster along the Sword Coast. As if I'd settle for a lesser mentor. In that case, I'd very much appreciate it if you could arrange an introduction, should we reach the city. I've heard stories about Laroakin, not all of them good. Common gossip. The byproducts of ignorance and jealousy. I've admired Laroakin for years. Never dreamed he'd answer my letter. But I've worked myself to the bone for this. Few can match me in either magic or talent. The names Roland and Laroakin will be known far and wide. You'll see. Can't keep the goblins out forever. This is no fortress. We're no warriors. Refugees, adventurers, no one in years and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met. And thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. Is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. The ritual will be complete before too long. Are you really locking down the grove? I know it's drastic, but more monsters seem to terrorize this region every day. I'm looking for a healer. I pray no goblin arrow has grazed you. Nettie could put you to rights. She should be with the others in the inner chambers but I doubt she'll be taking on new patients. The Grove will be locked down soon. Something's on my mind. This place is a bloody death trap, not a sanctuary. You should clear off while you can. Don't waste a step. Again. isn't what it appears to be. If we left, we could at least make a run for it. Yeah. 
This place seems remarkably tense for a sacred grove. Perhaps we shouldn't linger. But let's at least see if there's a healer to be found, first of all. Well, this seems like a lovely little spot. The sense of impending doom aside. Never had cause to visit a druid's grove before. Magic weighs heavier here, seeking solace in root and soil. Grounding, one might say. Hmm. He stares right past you, as if you're invisible or boring. Are you all right? <laughs> I see. Anything else on your mind? Mm. He's still staring right past you. You see nothing out of the ordinary. As you turn back, the child slips between the rocks. of a concealed entrance. No trigger or handle, though. No way to open it. Go on. Give me a best shot. Not bad. Again. I can't do it. I'm not like you. Umi, I don't need you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. It's good advice, child. You do well to listen. Hmm. You're on the right path, Umi. Go on now. Practice what you've learned. Well met. The Blade of Frontiers at your... The man's smile bends downward. And his thoughts become yours. You are the Blade of Frontiers racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe hell. <sighs> Hell's great fires. You were on the ship. Yes, and we both carry parasites. Hmm. Doomed to shed our skin and become a lithid, or so the stories go. But we haven't sprouted any tentacles. Not yet, anyway. Could just be good luck. I'm not so. Your minds collide once more. Will chases the fiend ignited with rancor. She is an infernal war devil. A threat to the living. Evil incarnate. Shit! You saw her. Advocatus Diaboli. Advocatus Diaboli. A devil's advocate. A champion in the blood war between diabolical forces and demons. Devil's Advocate, do you think she'll bring the blood war to Faerun? That ship sailed the sticks already. All I can hope for is to limit the damage. Her name is Karlak, an archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship but the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now, preying on the innocent. I don't kill her. She'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. Let's join forces. I'll help you cast this devil back into the hells. An excellent suggestion, but your party's full up. Still, when the time comes, call for the blade. 
I won't be long to answer. Go to my camp and wait for me. A splendid plan. We'll talk more there. I have something to ask. I saw you at the gates. You fight well. A few words for the kids? Spare a story or two. Be strong. Watch over your kin. In trust, there's victory. Thanks. I prefer when they smile. Grove is a death trap. Grab what you can and get out. That's my advice. You ain't gonna shoot me. Your hands are shaking. Put it down. She can't fight back. That's the point. Get out of the way! She didn't kill your brother, Arca. You're better than this. Shoot before you lose your nerve, Tieflin. If you ever had it to begin with. Shut up. Those words could be your last. I'm not afraid. Chosen by the absolute I am. I'm blessed. Oh, I'll bless you, all right. Looks like the Absolute sent me a protector. You're gonna kill him too. You, move! This won't avenge Cannon. It won't change anything. <sighs> You're right. I wish you weren't, I really do. Damn you. Damn it! Why do you care if a goblin lives or dies? If she dies, she takes everything she knows to the grave. If you believe anything the beast tells you, you're an idiot. It's alright, Arca. Let's go. I'm gonna bite the heads off your kids. And your birdies. And your... Believe it or not... But I witnessed a similar standoff back at the Yawning Portal. Of course, an establishment like that invites all sorts of outlandish entertainments. What is the w whatever you just said? An inn in Waterdeep. Ooh, never a dull moment there. Adventurers come from all over Faerun to try their luck down the well. Leads into the Undermountain, you see. Full of death, danger, and vast amounts of treasure. Hard to resist. What was the standoff about? Oh, a drow, a dragonborn, and a cleric of Cyric walk into a bar. Your standard fare. Maybe someone was cheating at cards. Maybe it was some weird lover's quarrel. In any case, out came the crossbow, and a hush fell over the entire room. What happened next? I stood up and yelled, Shadow Dark Ale for everyone. The crowd cheered. The tension drained into five dozen tankards, and soon all was well again. In a place like the Yawning Portal, the most powerful magic is calling for a round of drinks. Mind you, all I did was call for ale, but you went and stood in front of that crossbow. Well, I drink to that. Let me out, you bunch of softies. Ain't sure why you're protecting me. Don't care, neither. It's too late to make friends walk me. My tribe's coming. They're gonna burn this pretty place for the glory of the Absolute and hang you by your guts. In all my studies, I've seen no reference to a god called the Absolute. Goddess. 
We're burning her name across the face of the world, we are. The absolute is gold from the sky, she is. The blessing in the storm and the storm itself. You've caught my interest. Have any holy literature on you? My tribe can tell you everything there is to know. Absolute blessed one of our own. Priestess Gut. Got a whole lab set up. Cooks up potions that fix our lads, no matter how much of a beating they take. Could probably stick your head back on if someone was to chop it off. <laughs> Mighty Booyog. A goblin healer. We really are desperate, aren't we? Well, I'd certainly want to meet her. Get me out of here, and I'll tell you where to find her. Deal? You already told me what I need to know. I'll find the priestess myself. <laughs> Even if you did find my tribe, they'd set the orgs on you. You need me. Get me out of here, and I'll tell them what a good friend you are. Not a chance. You can rot in that cage. Suit yourself. Looking forward to seeing what your innards look like. I told you. Not now. Roman shows off his thunder wave. Having fun with your new goblin friend. Bet you aren't. <clears throat> True. How long do you think we've got before the goblins come? My thunder wave will make quick work of any goblin. Just you wait. Lee and Roland would never admit it, but they take an arrow for the other. Also stab each other. Not sure what will come first. Thanks for cutting in. There might have been more than words if you hadn't. Those goblins will rule the day they chose to tangle with this grove. You and I will do some good here. I can feel it. You! Saw you fighting those slimy bastards! Fancy a bowl? Best to fill your belly now, while we still can. What is it exactly? Food. You want it or not? Look, it ain't much, but it might make all the difference. The only way we'll make it to Baldur's Gate is to run, and run hard. If a knoll catches your scent, you'll need every bit of strength. Trust me. What I do for some salt? Thanks for fighting off those goblins. If you need to replace any gear, just ask. My selection's pretty slim. I had to leave most of my equipment in Eltera. That forge is holding on by a thread. Are you a smith? Of sorts. Used to be a bread and butter tinsmith before Elturel fell into Avernus. These days my talents are more... eclectic. Learned a lot in my time in the Hells. Hope to forget most of it. But, between you and me, there's nothing in all the realms like the utter power of infernal machinery. Alas, my offerings are far more humble these days. Face front of troll. <laughs> You're an idiot. I'm waiting on someone and you aren't him. Do you mind? Very well. Good to be back behind the walls, have to say. For as long as that lasts. If it ain't the fearless goblin slayer, you sure you want to be seen with me? I ain't exactly popular with this lot. All you did was stand up for your crew. I respect that. Half my crew are full of holes. Now I'm gonna take the blame for leading the goblins here and losing track of the bloody druid.
Who's the druid you lost track of? Nelson. He's a leader around these parts. Or was. We've got a contract. To track down some relic. And he wanted in on the job. Eyes lit up when he heard about it. Didn't work out though. Goblins got him when we were turning tail. He's either digging latrines or boiling in a cook pot by now. Can I look at the contract? <laughs> Job's all yours. If you got a death wish. There's a wizard in Baldur's Gate that'll pay goblins for a relic supposedly buried round these parts. But gold ain't any use if you're too cold to spend it. Just tell me where to find the relic. It's called the Night Song. It's supposed to be hidden under the temple where the goblins jumped us. I'd give you the map and wish you a happy funeral. But my mate Brian kept hold of it like his own todger. Goblins made sure to the fat old chunk. All I've got's the contract. It'll show you where we turn back. If you feel like dying. Thanks. <laughs> Don't thank me. I'll be well on my way to Baldur's Gate when you die. You were a caravan escort for three days. And you quit in the middle of your shift. You sound like your father. Well, it was his caravan. And we'll have a dog, right? They don't allow them in Baldur's Gate. Cats, though. A little orange cat. And a house with a little door so that it can come and go as it pleases. And a high fence to keep eavesdroppers out. Sorry, didn't mean to interrupt. Good luck to you both. Thanks. I suppose we'll all need it. What about you? Big plans for when you get to the city? Plans? Just surviving the journey is ambitious enough already. Luck's been on our side this far. No reason to think it'll run out now. Optimism, my friend. Try it out. Damn! Goblins! You should probably get that looked at. Oh, I. I was just gonna let it fall off, stick it in my satchel. I ain't letting anyone here near me. They all sat and watched while Zevlor near got us killed. He let you in, didn't he? It could have been worse. Oh, very gracious of you. We expected a soft job. Something to test the new lad, maybe, but not a bloody goblin nest. Most would have turned tail at the sight, but not Liam, no. He charged him, the stupid bastard. I'm guessing that it didn't end well. No. He must have thought we were following. Always the optimist was Liam. Hope they cut him down quick before he saw we were gone. Well, this is the end of part 5. Thanks everybody for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. Next episode's already under works, don't worry. See you guys later.